my god, I'm tired. Apologies for how croaky my voice is. Um, it's currently half past six and I've literally just woken up and I thought that I'm gonna film a day in the life today. But I wanted to start from the moment I woke, wake up. Um, I wake up and then I shove some clothes on, I make my bed and then I go have a coffee, I wake my dog up and then I Oh, my alarm's going off again. Yeah, I, I actually, I've started using a proper alarm clock so that I can sleep with my phone downstairs so that it doesn't distract me and that I'm not looking at it in the morning. Um, I feel really tired this morning. Let's start the day. <laughs> Before I walk the dog, I tend to write down my to-do list for the day. Um, but because yesterday was Sunday, I did it already. But normally I'd just be doing that now because it kind of sets me up for the day. I feel really brave. I feel like once I put this footage on my laptop, I'm going to put it out and posting with no makeup on um, and having just woken up. But we shall see. I want to try and be transparent, so... Hopefully, I won't be a baby about it and I'll just post it. I do feel like when I watch my videos back, I sound like the most boring person ever. So I hope I'm not too boring to watch. But then, I've watched vlogs and like, I just like watching what people are up to. Anyway, I'm gonna go because this probably really is boring. But yeah, now it's five to seven and then when it gets to seven, I'm gonna walk the dog for an hour, go around the woods, listen to a podcast, probably a Stephen Bartlett podcast, realistically. I am just on my walk now and I didn't bring my camera because I didn't want to drop it and it's kind of heavy but I'm filming on my iPhone so you can kind of see the sunrise and it's so beautiful god I love that boy <laughs> I just love getting out in the morning I think that it's really good for your mental health if you can I feel so lucky to live somewhere like this where I'm like I'm really near to this really pretty lake which I'll show you when I get there Okay, so this is what I mean when I say I love coming on walks because I have this lake near my house and it is just so beautiful. I mean, I don't know, I feel like the camera never does nature things justice. Okay, so I just got back. It is five to eight. I am going to go shower and wash my hair and make myself look a bit better. I'm going out for dinner this evening, so I may as well just do my makeup for the whole day um, and vlog my day. <laughs> So I'm now dressed and ready for the day. I really don't know why I put so much makeup on. I definitely got carried away because the camera was there. Um, and yeah, it's just turned nine o'clock. So I'm gonna get downstairs. I am a hungry girl this morning. So I am making some eggs. And I'm gonna have some avocado as well. <laughs> looking through my to-do list for the day. I actually need to start by, I've got a tiny thing to digitise because I want to get that sewn today. Um, and then I've got quite a lot of packing and ironing and photographing to do. I've um, got a few TikToks to finish. Yeah, I'm going to go into the office now because that is where the computer is uh, because I need a Windows software 
Um, so luckily my brother has one in his office. So I'm gonna go there now and finish digitizing and I'll bring you with me. Okay, so I'm now in the office and basically I digitized something yesterday. Um, it's an order for my cousin actually. She wants um, a photo of her friend who's just got engaged um, embroidered onto a cushion cover. And I did the embroidery, but I forgot to add the wedding date. Um, we're gonna put the wedding date underneath as well. And I forgot to add it. So I've literally just got to add that now, which really won't take very long. I use a digitizing software called Hatch, which it is so good, but the problem with it, it's annoying, bogus, almost there. Okay, there we go. I think I just need to keep really still. But yeah, it's a really good embroidery software. The only problem with it is that it's not compatible with Mac, um, which is kind of annoying. And when I first got it, I didn't really realize that. I mean, I'm so lucky because my brother has like this big Windows computer. Um, so I can come on here and use it basically, um, which is really good because if I, if he didn't have it, then I would have to spend like another grand on a computer, which would not be good. Um, so I'm just gonna, I don't know whether to show you what I'm up to or not. Okay, yeah, I just need to open up the file. So here is, each file has, you can save it as an EMB file. So that's the image, if you can see the image. That was the image. Um, and that's the, f I digitized all this yesterday. So you basically draw a line around the shape. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that looks. Now I just need to add the date. Um, I need to check on my phone, 3rd of June. Okay, let's add the date, lettering, 3rd June 2023. Be so bad if I got this wrong. Now I can choose the fonts. I don't know if people can actually see what I'm doing, but there's loads of different fonts here, so I need to try and find one that is appropriate. I'm still kind of quite new to this digital stuff, so I still haven't really like learned what the best fonts are for embroidery yet. Um, I've just kind of been testing it out. So I'm now back in my studio. Well, it's not really my studio, but I call it my studio. I luckily already did this last night because I was just about to sew it and then I realized I forgot to add the date to the design. So it's all ready, which is nice. I can just shove it in the machine pretty much. Um, put this in, I need to choose the right design. I feel like this camera angle is so not the one right now but okay memory stick goes into the machine this backdrop is just so not cute and um, that's there's like a cabinet under there i wanted to get rid of it and just make it look a bit more studio-y as you can imagine right so i've put the memory stick in uh you can hopefully see the design that we just did on the computer is now coming up on the screen there I just need to get my colors ready and it will be serving that hopefully i need to now do some boring ironing and get things ready for packaging so the cushion cover has finished sewing um i think the camera kind of ran out of battery halfway through that so you probably missed some of it but i just need to now pin the edges together um to kind of remake the cushion so i need to sew all along the edges um, and then turn it inside out to reveal the cushion and okay so things are taking a bit longer than i was hoping today it's already two o'clock um i am now just going to try and rapid fire through my ironing and folding ready to then start packaging everything up because i want to get to the post office ideally in an hour um but i don't know if that's going to work
Oh my god, I've got to be honest with you. My motivation has really just dropped and I'm getting so distracted by tiny things today. Even just ironing this, I think I find ironing so boring. There's one that I just finished. Um, That was someone's, it's their climbing club logo and he wanted a t-shirt of it with a climber on it. I need to finish packaging some stuff up. I just find that I get distracted so easily and I'm particularly out of focus today. So I need to just, I don't know, my phone keeps distract, distracting me and I think I need to go and lock it away. It's not like I'm just scrolling on my phone doing nothing. It's when, as a small business owner, you constantly have like messages coming in or like someone just tagged me in a photo wearing my stuff and I obviously want to see it and it's like it's all stuff that's work related but it does mean that you're not actually getting what you plan to do done so I'm going to put on some d &B, um loudly and I'm going to just try and get what I needed to do finished and then once that's done I'm going to reward myself with a couple tea and maybe some toast. I haven't actually had lunch yet. It's three o'clock now. I'm not going to film this bit because I feel like it's really kind of boring just watching me iron. I got so hungry. As you can see, I love this pasta. It is um, one of these beetroot and goat's cheese things. So yummy. Also, it's that thing with pasta that supposedly it feeds too and it definitely doesn't. I mean, probably does, but I've got a big appetite. So I'm going to eat this now and then get back to work. I'm really struggling to stay focused today. I've done all my ironing and I've eaten lunch. But I thought I'd come back to my trusty to do list because I'm feeling a bit lost. Digitise and add date. I've done that. So, Caitlin, prep and package Emily. Oh, yeah. Emily Isaac KG. Okay, so I'm going to do all of that. So, I'm going to write the thank you cards now. And I also just got an order actually on the website. So, I'm going to try and sew that quickly because it's a PN one. So, I know what I'm doing. It doesn't take um, much prep work but I also want to give Brogan a little walk so I'm gonna try and get all these packaged up now so that I can post some of them later and then some I'll take to the post office tomorrow because they won't fit in the box but otherwise yeah let's go I'm gonna start writing some cards these are the cards I use I get them from Vista Print they just have my logo on so on the back they say thank you so I write a little thank you note and they also that QR code you can scan it and it takes you to my reviews page I want to try and have more incentive for people to like tag their like when something arrives take a picture of it and share it on their story or something because it makes such a difference it's crazy how much of a difference could make like if ever you buy something off a small business always 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 if you can post a story or something i always do it for every other small business i buy from because it really helps us um to grow anyway i'm going to start writing on these now and i'm going to stop talking because if i write and talk at the same time it's just not going to work i'm not intelligent enough for that Guys, I am so happy. Someone has just made an order. But how weird, I've had two Caitlyn's buy stuff today. I'm so mad how all it takes to just boost your mood a bit is just someone to buy something. And that has all come from, I gifted something to a really sweet girl um, and she's just posted something wearing it. Yeah, it all kind of makes it worth it, I guess. And it means that you can get content too. So if you can find like little micro-influencers, it kind of benefits them too because they can grow their page a little bit. Um, and yeah, just good all around. I've just realised the time um, and I have to go out with my grandma um, belated Mother's Day dinner, even though she's not my mum. Go out with her at like half six and pick her up at 10 past six and it's currently five o'clock and I've got loads of stuff to package because I want to put some of it in the post box um, on my way. So I need to hurry up. Anyway, I don't know what to do now. I get a bit overwhelmed and I lose my fella sort completely. But yeah, we're gonna try and wrap up fire some packaging. Gonna put some good tunes on. I have to be really careful about playing music in the back of the videos that because I don't want to get done for copyright. So I'm gonna have to hide the music for you, but I'll put some music over the top. Oh, and I've got to walk the dog. It's just not enough time. That's the type of message we want to see. I've just sent someone a picture of their order and their response was, oh my God, it's amazing. Oh God, I'm getting so distracted. This is what I mean. My trail of thought just does not last very long. Right, I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna try and, oh God, I really need to invest in some like proper camera gear because this is a bit of a joke. Right, let's go for it. Let's put some tunes on. 
Right, let's go. Beautiful brown sweatshirt. Why is it always when you're in a rush that you run out of everything? I have run out of the little um, bards that I put in. I normally use these little ones so I just cut out of A4, but I don't have any ink in my regular printer. So I'm gonna print some black and white ones on my thermal label printer. They're not as pretty, but they do the job. Oh God. Right, we're back on track now, we're on. So I've now packaged all of those, but it's now time to get ready. I'm gonna wrap it up there. Uh, sorry, it was a bit of a weird all over the place vlog. It feels like it's been a really long day. So walk the dog now, and then I need to get ready for dinner at seven o'clock. I actually just can't believe I've done it again. I've ended another video without saying goodbye, without ending it, without like doing all the things I should be doing. Really hope you guys enjoyed that really random vlog. So if you wouldn't mind um, subscribing if you're not already, and if you did make it to the end of this video which i really would love to genuinely know if anyone actually does because i'm pretty sure no one does if you do please just comment something like anything it would just be nice to know that you're there <laughs> God, I need to get out more, don't I? Um, but yeah, you don't have to, but it'll be good if you did. Or even a thumbs up, it just all helps. Yeah, it takes a lot of time making these, so it'd be good to spread the love if possible. If you are interested in seeing a bit more of what I do, head to my website, takescustoms.co.uk. You can see all of my different products on there. You can shop on there as well. Please, if you're not already, go and follow my Instagram. It's kates underscore custom. Um, and I post on there really regularly what I'm up to and stuff. Let me know if there's any other things you'd like me to film. I'm thinking I would quite like to film some more like non-business related stuff. You really do like a wardrobe clear out and stuff like that. So maybe I'll do that next i'd quite like to do a q a as well so if you have any ideas or any questions you want to ask please please ask them it's really helpful um and yeah i will see you in the next video and i hope you all have a beautiful day evening whatever um i'll see you soon